Mm. Baby doll. No, no, you're doing fine. I told you. I'll tell you if I hear something played that I don't like. Now again, please. Mm. Beautiful. You are so very good at this, my dear. The best in the business, really. Certainly the best in the four families. I trust you've enjoyed the perks thus far? Good. You're being a very good girl. Not even a blush this time. Good. I think you're ready for our first waltz against the other families, my dear. Come here first, and sit on my lap. Look at me. Perfect. Are you ready for me to start trying, baby doll? <laughs> baby doll. Give me up, baby doll. Tell me every juicy secret I've trusted to you. Tell me and I'll give you what you want. Sing, baby doll. The heat is building. It must be painful. Give in to me. Tell me those passcodes. Tell me how to kill every single Grayson, brother, sister, daughter, son. I want to reward you. All you have to do is sing. So strong. A little kiss for you, love. You've trained so well that a bit of combat training might see you become a vampire hunter, hmm? No, oh, but you're far deadlier, aren't you? Your little songs on that piano will make this bout of the families trying to kill each other much simpler, I think. Enjoying sitting on my lap? <laughs> Maybe, doll. Come on. You've been at my side for years now. You've grown up around a bunch of mobster vampires who love to kill one another. Is my lap really that scary? Well, you're welcome to sit there while I go over these letters. After all, I have you for another hour before Clyde serves dinner. A nice ziti pasta tonight, he said. You'll enjoy it, I'm sure. <laughs> Am I afraid of dying? Baby doll, come on. You know me, and you know the answer to that. Let me ask you a question instead. Are you afraid of me dying? <laughs> Take your time, sweetheart. I've got loads of it. <laughs> Look, my little cherry pie of a friend. I'm a Grayson. Worse still, I'm the oldest. The most likely to die and the one sitting in Daddy Dearest's chair after he ate a magnum round or six. This is our way of life, our way of doing things, and if the four families don't keep each other in check, we're bound to start making humans like you all kinds of miserable. It's us or you, baby doll. And since I'm the one in charge here, that means I'm going to pick you. Understand. Good. Now, let's run through the information concerning our opponents. First, Dorian, the oldest of the Smiths. Ugh. The Smiths. 
creepy bastards. Always smiling, even when burying bodies. He'll immediately probe you the moment he can sense your hair. I've seen his methods. Incredibly intimate in the worst ways possible. Like finding a parasite so attractive you'll readily let it eat you alive. Mm. Good girl. You remember who you belong to. No matter what sweet nothings he whispers in your ear. That man is not capable of loving any one or thing. Do not be swayed by him mimicking a feeling creature. Think about how I make you feel, and nothing else. Understood? <laughs> now, now, don't pout. Do I not give you enough attention? Do I need to spoil you more? What does my little human need to be happy? Hmm? Perhaps a collar in case she gets lost. <laughs> Fine. Let us resume. The Lawsons will be a bit more manageable. They are a dysfunctional lot. Usually too busy fighting with each other to be a threat. Regardless, do not, for a second, underestimate Warren. The man is good at pretending to be exhausted, looking miserable to lower defenses, and then... that's it. You're dead. No reasoning, no pleading. The man has the disposition of a starving wolf when he wants something. And he will want something, I'm sure. Yes, they'll have their own songbirds to keep their secrets. I couldn't gather any intel on them, and I've never met them. So we're going in blind on that aspect, unfortunately. Oh, baby doll. Don't be jealous. You know you're my favorite plaything. <sighs> the love of... What do you want, my dear? Jewelry? Fine dining? Trip to Europe? <laughs> Baby doll. You know I'm busy. I don't have as much time to play with you. No, no. I can't have you leaving the house or playing with others. I'm still angry from Mother's little stunt of trying to find you a spouse. If the woman weren't so terrifying, I might try and have her taken care of. Oh, love. No, you don't need anyone else, okay? You're too valuable to me. To this family, rather. I can't have you compromised or touched by another. But it is cute that you miss me so terribly. You're in my lap now, yes? Is that not enough for my poor sweet baby doll? <laughs> oh, don't be like that. I promise, I'll reserve the evening just for the two of us, okay? I'll be sure to treat you extra special. Oh, but the last of the families, that tiny psychopath lamb, just do yourself a favor with him and uh, don't. Don't. Now, do me a favor and warm me up while I finish up this stupid paperwork, yes? I'm about to steamroll this winery into being ours. 
Ti amo, bambolina. <laughs>